Um, my name is Ayla Hurley. I've been in GSO since fall 2007, which is when the chorus was founded. Um, and I'm currently the webmaster. This is gonna. This was my second year being appointed webmaster. And I'm a soprano in the chorus. So. It was maybe five or six, maybe maybe eight uh, members who were not also instrumentalists, and that was kind of a problem because I remember having people when we performed in K, having people run back and forth between the orchestra and the chorus, and um, that was kind of ridiculous. So they stopped allowing that for a little while, uh, but other than that, it's just gotten big. It's gotten to about 30 singers. When we started, it was about you know, 10 or 11, and that's really cool because having a fuller choral sound just, not only do we sound better with more pieces that have a choral component, but we get more pieces that have a choral component. So that's, it's just been really awesome watching it grow. There's, there's kind of a different feel to each one. The, the, the joint pieces definitely feel fuller. They can feel more majestic. Sometimes they're more fun to sing. Sometimes they're easier to sing because you have music to listen to and, and sing against. But at the same time, when you have the, the a cappella pieces, it's just, it like, it'll give you goosebumps because you know that, that it's just your voice. It's just you and your, your choir members' voices making that music, and that's just beautiful. Of course, it could change if we play something better than this, but I doubt that it has been uh, Bobby A2 listening to the performance we did with Brian Bannock as the soloist. Every single time I listen to that song, just an, an uncontrollable grin comes across my face and I can't help but just belt out the lyrics because it's just, it's so much fun, it's so bouncy. It's kind of amazing the way it, it makes you feel happy and it almost kind of encompasses you because it, it's, it's very worldly and it's supposed to feel very worldly and very unifying and it, it does that very well. My favorite part of GSO is not really something that you can pin down and it only happens towards the end of the semester when, when things are coming together and it's not always at the concert because you can't always hear yourself as a singer at the concert but usually at rehearsals when everything's coming together and we're running through a piece and everything sounds good it's, it's just this, this inexplicable just happy this oh my god this sounds amazing and it, it happens every semester, and it's, it's why I'm still here, because feeling that, it's like it gives you goosebumps, and it just makes you grin, and you're just so proud of everyone in the room for, for making this happen. And I want to watch it keep growing. I want to see it get bigger. Ultimately, it's, it's an undergraduate group. Unless there's a way for it to break away from the limits of being a university, organization for undergraduates. I worry that that it, it might die down simply because of the way a student organization works. So unless there's a way for, for the original spirit of the UMGSO to, to, to kind of grow out of the University of Maryland, I worry about it. Those students are going to graduate and a lot of us really want somewhere to go and do the same thing once we graduate. People going, well, I still want to do this. You know, even though I'm not in school anymore. When I, uh, when I was in high school, I, I took chorus every single year in middle school and high school. And I, I learned a lot. I wasn't the best singer. But I liked singing. I liked, I liked the, the uh, phenomenon of people's voices coming together and making beautiful music. I was given a pamphlet for GSO and that they were looking to start a chorus, and I was like, perfect. And I learned more about singing, proper singing posture and technique and sound and everything. I learned more from all of my choral directors and conductors than I ever did in school. And that's just musically. Socially, I have met so many people. I have made so many new friends. My social circle has exploded, and I love it, because they're all wonderful people. It's just so much fun. Like, I love that, that the GSO has a social director and that it's an elected position. 
because that means that we care about doing things as a social group. And that's just, that's awesome. Here, rehearsals are fun. Yes, we work hard. Yes, we want to sound our best. And when rehearsals are fun, you get to know the people you're with. And I don't think other ensembles really do that. I've never been in any other ensemble, but I don't know if I would want to be. 